Hey, what's up, guys? This is my first war recording. This is War 5 um, of Season uh, 22, 23. I don't really know. Um, this is my first war with these guys. Um, or actually, second war, but this is like... I took off suicide recently, so actually, I actually like, do war. So, so we were on path number 6, which is the Aggression Fury path, I believe, and the Rage path. So, for this first fight, we have um, Stark Spider-Man, and we just bought Doctor Doom. Um, this is like my first time using Doctor Doom in so long, because since I ran suicides... I pretty much always bought like clairvoyant for everything and like never doom so it's a little bit interesting um he didn't doom again but he's definitely a very good character so the thing with this fight that i was worried about is um just if i let the aggression fury get too high um he can just like five combo and kill me i wasn't too worried i didn't boost just because um i'm doom and doom is so tanky and his crit resistance is so high right here he evaded i got a little worried but then i parried Got him back under control. The fight was pretty much good. I threw the special three here. And I'm pretty sure this is when the fight ends. I don't know if this kills him. I can't remember. Because I recorded this yesterday. But. It does feel weird not using suicides again. So yeah. I think the special three kills him. Very nice. Very quick and easy fight. That is the first fight on this path down. The next fight is a quake. I was not worried about quake at all. Um, I just didn't want her to use a heavy attack at all, I did power alternator and power focus one, so she's gonna be throwing a lot of specials. I just didn't want her to charge heavies at all, because that's like the only way I could maybe die. But then I realized she's also running suicide, so I was like, this is gonna be an easy fight, because the power gain is so high, I just gotta keep spam dodging special ones. So yeah, this fight was super easy, I just did not want to get hit with special ones. And you know, quick special ones sometimes I slip up on, so it's a little bit scary, because you have to get the distancing and timing right. But right here, the power alternator comes. She gets to a 2 by power. I steal it just so she doesn't go to 2. Looking back at it, I probably should have just let her throw in the second bar of power because it is a little bit easier to dodge than the special 1. But right here, I throw the special 2, and I'm pretty sure this kills her. So I just start backing up, and yeah, the recoil kills her, and she's dead. So that is the first two fights on the path done. Now we go into the third fight. Uh, we have to take this Annihilus. He's noted, but the note is close encounter, so I'm not worried at all. I just think the damage might be a little bit annoying, but it has steady build-up fury and um, heavy attacks are not interrupted, and it's an Annihilus. So I wasn't too worried, I just didn't want to get hit with a special one. This guy also on suicides, which made this fight a lot faster and a lot easier, so I was a little bit happy about that. Throwing a heavy, we're using Doom, we've used Doom for two fights now, and this is the third one, we're, already, we're still at a full yellow bar, which is nice. I think I get hit, I think I throw my special one to nullify the rod here. Because I don't want him to go unstoppable. And I get hit with a special one. But because I'm in my um, uh, aura phase, I can't be knocked down. And the damage is reduced a lot. So I literally just like tanked it and took like nothing. I get hit with a special one again. I was getting kind of bullied in this fight. Um, my special ones were definitely not on point. But Close Encounters is just healing me. And, you know, Doom is just so tanky. Right here, intercepted the special one. So he can't throw um, special two. I wait for the heavy. I try to get a parry here. I re-parry, get it nice and down. Throw the heavy attack, and then into special three. And this fight should be over, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this fight ends here. Yeah, so we end him with the special three. Pretty easy fight. We only lost, like, a tiny bit of health. Um, if I didn't miss the special one, I'd still be at a full yellow bar, but whatever. And then we go up to the mini boss guy for the middle, which is Mordo. Um, what does he have? He has... The one where he throws this, what is it called? Footloose and Kinetic Transference. Um, so I was just going to use Void and slow play it. Um, but turns out, once again, this guy is using Suicides. So he made it very easy for me. I was like, okay, it's Suicides and I'm running Void. This should be super easy. I just got to play it really slow and try not to let him get to three bars power. I still haven't boosted yet in this war because I just didn't feel like I needed to in any of these fights. Um, this fight, maybe I could have boosted on if I was... Um, but he was running suicide, so it just didn't, it didn't need to. I was like, whatever, this is gonna be an easy fight anyway. We get the armor break on us from not hitting him for six seconds, and that's just pure healing for me, so I was like, fine by me. I can just stay at full yellow bar. Just gonna parry a little bit, just to get a little bit more damage in. And just slow him down. Right here, we throw a heavy attack, stop his power gain. I think we're gonna intercept the special one here. Do that, get another debuff. This fight's going super well, still at a full yellow bar. It's a super easy fight, honestly. Placing suicide just makes it like a hundred times easier. Um, throws a special one. He's just killing himself, and yeah, he's dead. We end with a full yellow bar. Super easy void fight. Now we go on to our fifth fight of the war, I believe. 
This is a hit monkey with rage. I bought Archangel. I did this fight before going to bed. Um, I was just a little bit worried because hit monkey's abilities are kind of annoying. When you, when you knock him down, he has something that he uh, one of his phases nullifies debuffs, and the other one is an evade charge. So I just went in using uh, Archangel, and I was just gonna pretty much just turn that off once I get some neuros up. We pretty much turned off the node. There was a special one. We know how to dodge it, so it's fine. And Archangel's just doing Archangel things, just making this fight look easy. And yeah, he's dead. Super easy fight. Now we go into our next fight on the path. Uh, this is this morning. I woke up. I was it was Doctor Doom. I was, I was maybe gonna use Void, but then I saw. And then I just remembered that I have Archangel and I don't need him for any more fights, so I'm like, I'll just use Archangel for this fight. Archangel's Neurotoxins also turns off his aura if you have three or more, so I didn't have to worry about that. And this guy, once again, using suicides, I was like, this is easy, easy money, easy kill with Archangel, you're just giving me a head start. The thing with Archangel, though, is the crit rate on Doom, his crit rate isn't the best and Doom's crit resistance is super high, so it's a little bit annoying, but we still got there, I wasn't too worried. I was just worried about, um... Not letting him build up too much aggression prowess. Because if he did and then like hit me with like a special one or special two, it could just like one tap me. Um, so I just made sure to keep that down as much as I could. Right here, go for another heavy. Go for another heavy. You get him close to three bars of power. But he has like, I forgot what note it is, but it makes it harder for him to get three bars of power. So right here, throws special two and he dies. And we're good. Archangel fight down. Then we're in the final fight of the war. The seventh fight, I believe, sixth, seventh, eighth, one of those. I think it's seventh, but I could be wrong. Um, it's a mini boss. Someone failed at this fight, so I was like, I'll just clean it up with Doom, because why not? It has improved power gain and aspect of evolution. I was a little bit worried about this fight. I was going to bring Void, um, but since she was already kind of hurt, I wanted to bring Doom. Also, I've never done this fight against Sorcerer Supreme before, so I said, listen, I know the power gain might get a little crazy. And I'm just going to bring in Doom because I know Doom is super tanky and he can eat a special three if need be. Um, looking back at this fight now, um, I definitely should have baited the special two like right when she got it instead of letting her. But Or I should have just kept spamming special ones. I think that would have been the better play, honestly. Just to spam special ones. But I was just going for a special three here. Um, I was a little bit concerned with how like the power drain wasn't working that well. And I had a feeling I might get to special three if I'm unlucky. But I was like, whatever, we should have keep it going. I was like, worst comes to worst, we're doomed. Super tanky, rank 3, 6 star. She throws a special 3, I'm like 95% sure I can tank it. But she's at 3 bars power, we do the doom cycle. Steal some of her power. And yeah, she just goes back up. I was like, oh no, this isn't good. I should have thrown another special 1 there, but I was like, whatever. I fucked up there. I was trying to, I was spamming my special 3 right there. But she got hers at first, and I was a little bit worried because she hit me a few times before throwing it. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive this. But I was like, I'm, I'm still pretty sure I'm going to survive this. I just hope it doesn't clap me. And yeah, once I saw the damage, I was like, okay, we're good. We pretty much won this fight. In the bag, throw the special three right away. And I'm pretty sure it kills her. I'm like 90. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure the special three kills her. And yeah, we did the fight. Uh, war, seven fights, no deaths. Pretty good. Um... Next time I'll probably bring Void for this fight. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.